this is a solar sun seeker project uh, so here we have uh, two LDRs as you can see these are uh, light detector resistors uh, so when the light keeps uh, falling on them continuously there is no action but uh, whenever there is a difference in the intensity of light falling on them uh, there is a particular change in the resistance, resistance and voltage and that uh, data is sent to the microcontroller here and uh, whichever side the intensity of light is more and whichever side <coughs> the brightness is more the motor the microcontroller sends the output to the motor driver ic l293d uh, in such a way that the motor turns uh, or rotates towards the uh, brighter side so this is the project where uh, the automatically this is a system made automatically where the uh, motor is rotated towards the brighter side of the sun or the brighter side of the day so we'll just show you a demo here as you can see when i cover one of the ldrs it means there's, there's no light falling on it it means that the sun rays are falling or, or more intense towards this particular area so because of which the plate or the panel is getting inclined towards that particular side where the sunlight is more or brighter so this is how the kit works you can order this kit from our site kitscrew.com where you will get two versions of the kit one is where you will get this complete ready made kit and the other one is where you will get a knockdown kit and with the help of our video tutorials you will be able to complete uh, the kit by yourself in this section of the video, we will see what all components are used in this kit and how to assemble those components on the PCB, what are the functions of each component and how do how does this kit work and how to check the power supplies. So we'll start off with how to how does this kit work. So first we have uh, two PCBs here. One is the PCB of the main microcontroller and the second one is the uh, motor driver PCB. So with the starting off with the microcontroller PCB, we have a power jack here where we have given a power supply through an adapter. And then this is the on off switch which controls the power to the entire uh, PCB. Then this is a bridge rectifier which converts the AC signal through a transformer into a DC output. And this is uh, an electrolytic capacitor which uh, removes all the repulses which were produced during rectif rectification process. Then a 2 pin parallel connector is used as you can see. Uh, this is the uh, parallel power connection given to the other kit or the other uh, motor driver PCB. A voltage regulator IC is used because most of the components on this kit works on 5 volts so we need to convert uh, the input power supply to 5 volts output supply. Then this is a 28 pin microcontroller which is uh, whose input is connected to the uh, two LDRs here. So <laughs> the whichever LD, uh, both the LDRs uh, receive uh, photons or light rays uh, because of which their uh, voltage and re uh, resistance is controlled. So whichever, whenever there is a, a change in the intensity of light on any one of the LDRs, there is a change in the voltage because of which uh, there is a signal which is received by the microcontroller and uh, correspondingly the microcontroller sends an output to this uh, motor driver IC L293D. Uh, uh, commanding it to rotate towards the brighter side and this is a crystal oscillator which uh, gives a clock pulse to the microcontroller along with two ceramic capacitors which starts the oscillation process and this is a micro switch which resets the microcontroller so this is how the kit works and now we'll see how to assemble the components So this is a blank, this is a blank PCB and this is the top layer where all the components are inserted and this is the bottom layer where the copper tracks are present. The technology that we use is called a through hole technology in which we uh, drill holes from the top throughout the PCB and solder the components at the bottom. So this is the main uh, PCB. Uh, so we'll start off with the power supply. So first we'll insert the power jack. And uh, because this is a ready-made kit, I'll keep this PCB in line with the ready-made kit so that we can understand the alignment and direction of each and every component. Then uh, my on-off switch is used, power switch. So this does not have any polarity. And then a bridge rectifier is used. It has two terminals uh, of uh, input AC signal and two terminals of DC output signal. So the positive terminal of the DC output signal has to be present on the top left side. 
the positive terminal has the longest stem and then in order to remove the repulses which are produced during the rectification process we use this electrolytic capacitor the stem which is longer in length is the positive terminal uh, which will be inserted on the left side and after that a two pin connector is used this gives a parallel power supply to the motor driver circuit and this is a voltage regulator IC the pin on the left side is the first pin that is the input pin and then ground and then the third pin on the right is the uh, output 5 volt supply so while inserting we have to ensure that we are facing the third pin and then as you can see there is an LED which is used a power indicator LED and LED is uh, ha has polarity the stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal in case both the stems are of equal length the bulb of the LED gets flat on the negative side so while inserting we have to ensure that the negative end is on the top side away from us along with the LED we have to insert a resistor of uh, 1k with color code brown black and red in order to protect the LED during in case of a high current and so this sec completes the section of the um, uh, power supply then this is the IC base as you can see this is the uh, IC and there is a notch on it so before inserting the IC we have to insert the IC base so this protects the IC during soldering process and also uh, in case you need to replace the IC in the future you can do that so the IC has a notch on the top uh, and the pin on the left side is the pin number 1 and then you need to count the pins uh, counterclockwise so this is a pin, um, pin on the right side on the top is a pin number 28 so first you need to insert the IC base with the notch on the top and then the IC on top of it and this IC runs on a clock frequency so we insert a crystal oscillator of uh, 16 megahertz along with that two capacitors of 33 picofarad each in parallel These, are, these are ceramic capacitors, they don't have any polarity and uh, these start the oscillation process and a micro switch is used which is used to reset the microcontroller and a resistor of 10k is used along with the micro switch to pull up the micro switch the 10k has a color code of brown black and red and another led is used here uh, this is a signal indicator led it has a negative end on the bottom side and along with that a resistor of 1k and then two pin two two pin connector base uh, to connect the LDRs here and here and along with these uh, connectors we need to insert two resistors of 10k So once these connections are done, so once this PCB is complete, we will move on to the next one. This is the motor driver PCB. So first we have to insert a 2 pin connector. and then a voltage regulator IC with the front face facing you and a 4 pin connector to connect the input signal for the motor driver IC the motor driver IC is a symmetrical IC does not have any polarity so you can insert it in any way and the IC goes on top of it and then two terminals now we have connected only one terminal here because we are running only one motor through it so you will see a couple of jumper metallic wires these are called jumper wires when the connection is not possible from the top side we use um, wires from the top of the pcb in order to complete the connection 
So once you finish the connections, you need to check the power supplies before you can insert the IC. So the first pin of the microcontroller should show the input voltage. The third pin should show 5 volts. The first pin of the microcontroller should show 5 volts. And here the motor driver IC should show 5, 12, 5, 12. And the first pin here should show 5, I mean 11 and then the third pin should show 5. And these LDRs can be connected in any way, they don't have any polarity. While giving a parallel supply, we need to ensure that the outer is positive here. As you can see, the outer terminal is positive, which has to be connected to the left terminal here, which is positive. The other one is ground. So once this power supplies are checked, you, you can uh, insert your ICs and complete the kit. So you can order this kit from our site, kitscrew.com, where you will get two versions of the kit. One is where you will get the complete ready-made kit and the other one is where you will com get a complete knockdown kit. And with the help of our video tutorials, you will be able to complete the kit by yourself.